This is Thermojar and I'm coming to you with some interesting stuff from the background. So, the Space Marine shit got leaked, right? I fucking have it. I played it and I'm telling you this. I got information here that I can't share. We all know if I share this, my channel is gone. Like, gone. I have footage. I have images. But if I fucking post that, I'm gone. So... I'm gonna try to verbally somehow explain to you is this game worth buying on day one pre-ordering I'll try to do as much as I can to get, relay you information from a person that has a leaked version of that game this is important for me to not give you wrong impressions on the game so here I start first the gameplay I'll start talking through the gameplay then we're gonna talk about the pricing and everything else so the gameplay if you played Space Marine 1 back then, in 2011, this is very much the same thing. With addition of today's new hardware capable of rendering more enemies and more stuff happening on the screen. That's adamant in there. You'll see a little bit more. Is it technically a marvel? As a spectacular, uh, pushing the limits, doing something new game? No. It's very basic as old gen. It's, it did not push the boundaries. The game did not try to do something new. It's the same thing. Except slightly painted over better, better visuals, better graphics. Slightly more enemies, more appe appearances, more, you know. It's just the same thing, but slightly more. Make sure to remember this, what I'm saying. Don't think you're getting something big it's a warhammer game you play as a space marine first as the first game except everything is slightly elevated into bigger shinier and prettier you're not getting a technologically groundbreaking game that you can continuously replay and enjoy it has a expiration date like i say um now without trying to spoil too much about the enemies and and the whole gameplay thingy the guns the melee are just as they used to be back in the day just flashy and brutalier aka a little bit more shinier to it uh what else without getting in trouble i can say you can expect have fun for a couple of hours for sure if you if, especially if you're a fan of those type of games and and you're a fan of Warhammers, that game is gonna be scratching that itch for a while. But now I wanna go back to something more, a little bit nastier, the rot of today video games industry. Man, I wanted to talk about it, and I think I'll be making a video separately talking about this. It has everything you can expect from the rotten industry, by the way. Yes, the, be be the leaked build didn't have access to the stores and a lot of features didn't work. But it literally has everything you expect from trashy life service experiences. It does have all of it. It actually fucking has all of it. There's XP boosters, there's everything, there's money, cash shop. You, got, you get a whole full shebang. And this is where I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, me as a person who values money a lot, and I don't put video games above myself with my interests. I'd say that Space Marine 2 on day one pre-order is not fucking worth it. Maybe somebody is going to be arguing with me that it's just my opinion. And yes, it is just mine. What I say to some of you, get it when it's cheaper. Or if you don't give a shit about what I'm saying, just... Go ahead, get it day one, have fun. But that's it, that's all I can say. Because if I speak more about Space Marine and uh, what to expect from the game and how it looks like, I'm fucked on this channel, guys. So without even wasting more of your time, uh, maybe have a nice day. And like I said, I'm planning to make a video about rant about video game industry because it's, it's pretty absurd these days. So without further ado, have a nice fucking day and have a decent weekend. Termus jar off.